Do you want to know the signs of your dua being accepted? You want to know? I'll give you six. Number one, you find yourself after you make your dua, you might have one of these or all of them or some of them. Any one of them, even if you have one, that's a sign, inshallah, of acceptance of your dua according to the scholars. Number one, uncontrollable tears and crying. You find yourself burst into tears. That's inshallah a sign of your dua accepted. Number two, you make dua and suddenly you get goosebumps. Because Allah mentions it in the Quran. When you hear Allah's words and you call upon Allah, you feel goosebumps. Number three, feeling of awe and inspiration. After you feel inspired, something's happening. I'm feeling guided. Number four, feeling of peace and calmness. After you had fear and worry, like being showered or bathed or like a therapeutic massage, you know, you feel like that. Number five, light weighted lightweight as if something was on your shoulders and it was taken off and number six feeling your iman rise allah says in the quran innama al mu'minun alladhina idha dhukira allah wajidat quloobuhum wa idha tuliyat alayhim ayatuhu zadatuhum imana the true believers the sign of them is that when allah is mentioned to them or his verses their hearts shiver and when his verses are recited, the Iman rises. There are two things that weaken the dua. Number one, when you when you earn haram all the time. Rasul said, a man, ash'atha aghbar, destitute, in the desert, with dust all over him, totally in need, holds his hands up to Allah and says, my Lord, my Lord. But he is food is from haram, his clothing is from haram, and he has been nourished all his life with haram. How is this person going to be responded to? So this weakens the level and the degree of your dua. So monitor your earnings, brothers and sisters. Monitor your food, monitor your clothing. If there's too much haram, you've got to do something about it. Otherwise, it could stand in the way of your dua or it weakens it. And number two, rushing the dua. Rushing, you want it, you give up, you despair. You want it a particular way, uh, you want to just do it quickly, these weaken your dua. My brothers and sisters, some of the etiquettes, they are eight. I'll just say them very quickly. Number one, these, you don't have to do it, but these will make it stronger. Number one, facing the qibla. When you want to make dua, face the qibla. Number two, uh, praising Allah and sending salawat. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Number three, lifting your palms up. Number four, preferable to have wudu. Number five, lowering your voice. Don't shout your dua. Don't yell it. Number six, humility while you're calling to Allah. Number seven, thinking well of Allah. Number eight, certainty that he will respond in the best way for you. These are eight etiquettes of how to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.